for engineering any magnetic level gauges the first consideration is the material of construction so example imagine here is an equipment material available which is carbon steel now tell me if a magnetic level gauge is attached to it can the chamber material be carbon steel what do you think if the answer to it is carbon steel then the answer is incorrect why because carbon steel is having magnetic or ferric properties and because of that it will interfere with the magnetic level gauge working and then you need a non ferrous material only then the magnetic level gauge will work properly so any material like ss316 or higher exotic materials would be okay but carbon steel would not be applicable here even though with respect to process this material is acceptable now as a general rule of thumb magnets tend to become weaker at higher temperatures let us understand this beautiful example with an experiment so let us try to see the temperature factor with an assembly where we have a support system here here's a wire where a ferrous material is attached to it and you have a candle here to raise the temperature and a magnet here this in the real life would look something like this now here if you notice in this assembly we'll try to push the piece of nickel so below if you see here when we push this piece of metal what is happening here is because of high temperature here the material loses its magnetic properties and it again comes back so this is a very big issue when it comes to magnetic level gauges let us discover what happens here at this point magnets have a particular temperature above which it will stop to behave as a magnet itself that is called as cure point temperature so every magnet has to have an operating temperature above it its magnetic properties will reduce so this temperature has to be always greater than your process fluid temperature so care must be taken to ask every vendor that whenever they're giving a magnet higher qualities magnet can sustain higher temperatures lower quality magnets can go maybe up till up till 150 degrees celsius 170 something of that sort so that is why it is very important to confirm whether the magnet will be able to sustain the process temperatures the next point which comes is chamber fabrication now chamber fabrication has two important standards which are usually used that is asme b 31.1 and asme b 31.3 now what is the difference usually in boiler services you would be having 31.1 and in process applications you would usually have the chamber to be fabricated as per 31.3 the next thing is the indication type indication type is also very important two most common ones are first one is the shuttle type if you see here this is the small shuttle which keeps changing its position as per the level now this keeps following the magnet so it's magnetically coupled to the float so this is called a shuttle follower method of indication the second type of indication that is available is flapper type if you notice here there are these yellow flaps which keep changing the color can depend as per your project application but basically as the level rises you will see this change in color happening usually this is the more recommended one because it has high visibility but it depends on project to project basis the next thing is the accessory which are required with magnetic level gauges for example if you are using a magnetic level gauge with any cryogenic services then for that cases you might require frost shield for that case second is for high temperatures you might require insulation to be done especially it is better if the vendor does the insulation so he will be able to take care of all the pain points etc finally an important consideration is what if the the uh, the float fails because at high pressures it could sometimes collapse or there are some other process issues so float failure has an indication so you can have certain indication to show that the float has been failed and it has to be replaced etc the next important thing is sometimes some people want that you know they should have this indication happening in their dcs to show something related to it so for that a transmitter switch can also be attached to this assembly so that can show in your control system but these special requirements have to be shared with the vendor i hope you have liked this video if yes then please press the subscribe button so we'll meet next saturday and learn something new again till then take care happy learning